All right. Well, we were talking earlier on the nine o'clock show. If you looked outside, looked out the window today, it looked like a nice day. It looked like a nice day. It and you looked like outside. a nice day. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are. I hear a lot of people complaining about the wind and the uh, the, the you know chilly temperatures. A year ago. Minicash region picked up 10 inches or more of snow. Ooh. So it can be worse, and yes, we've it seen can. it, uh, and we've had it. Uh, a year ago, we were talking about winter storm warnings. I remember, thanks to uh, social media, it tells you what happened on this day. It reminded me of the fact that a year ago, we were talking about that activity. I even had the red tie on and everything. But uh, today, we're talking about wind. It's been a pretty typical spring march. Over the last couple of days, winds, temperatures in the 50s, and we've got a little bit of a breeze. Right now, winds are dying down. Your Wednesday, take advantage of it. It's the best day of the next uh, couple before the weekend. As you look at the numbers, though, right now, it is going to be a chilly one overnight. 38 Twin Falls, 42 Jerome, as well as right now in Burley. And as you look at pinpoint Doppler, the sweeps, they're quiet. Skies are mostly clear. That's what's leading to some of those cooler temperatures. So overnight, you're going to want to keep the heater on. Temperature down to about 27, chilly under fair skies. You got mostly clear to uh, at times partly cloudy in the Magic Valley, down to about 33 and 31 for you in the Minicasia region. Winds have diminished. It's going to be mostly clear and on the cold side. Here's the overall weather pattern, and we've got that activity moving by to the north as a weak cold front is slow to move in here. You can see the moisture along the jet stream to our north as this high pressure is in control. But a lot of these clouds will spill in here tomorrow. And then we wait for the rain showers. It could be in here 24 hours from now. We can show you, though, first of all, let's talk about what's coming up on Thursday. We will show you future cast. We do have wind advisories in place that start 10 a.m. on Thursday until 6 o'clock. Right now, it's for the Western Magic Valley. You got high wind warnings off to our uh, west. But for the meantime, Thursday, 10 a.m. until 6 o'clock, that wind advisory for the Western Magic Valley. Wind sustained. Are 20 to 30 miles an hour, and we potentially have gusts of 45 to 55 miles an hour. And with that, we pull out the trash can wind meter. You may be looking for your trash can on Thursday in your neighbor's yard after trash is picked up, after it's it doesn't have any weight in it. Now we can show you on Futurecast what we're talking about. It's going to be dry and sunny to tomorrow, but by the time we make our way into the evening, clouds increase. But let's let's make our way into 11 o'clock. Rain showers knocking on the door above about 5,000, 6,000 feet. You might get a little snow. Then by 5 a.m., one wave of heavier precipitation is possible. Winds begin to pick up. By 11 o'clock, we might have some thunderstorms to talk about, strong gusty winds. And then the main rain is done. The heaviest comes through, lingering showers behind it. But the winds through 6 o'clock are a possibility. Again, a gust of upwards of around 55 or 50 miles an hour. Partly sunny, nice, 49 degrees for your Wednesday. It may start off chilly, but by the time we make our way into the Magic Valley, 62, a mix of sunshine and clouds, and then as we go into the Minicasia region, warmer, partly sunny, temperatures topping out about 62, but more clouds late in the day. What about the next seven? Looks like this. 48 on Thursday, rain and windy. Now, I mentioned snow and this possibility of snow. By Friday morning, the snow level could drop to about 4,000 feet. Most of the precipitation's out of here, but anything Thursday night into Friday, some spitting of snow is not out of the question for the valleys. I don't think it's going to stick. 56, but the weekend, we've got some good news for you. Saturday and Sunday, both days look nice and less wind. That's also uh, important for a good weekend forecast. Windy rain. Rain, rain, snow, Friday morning, lingering in the morning, then better weather awaits, not only for Friday night, but Saturday and Sunday, less wind, more sunshine. So while we have this swings back and forth over the end of the week, we do see nicer weather by the weekend. All right, thanks a lot.